Welcome students to my YouTube channel Bharat Chem Study. Today we are going to study about Chapter 6 Electrolysis for 10th Standard of ICC Board. In this video, we are going to study about electrolytes. The definition: strong and weak electrolytes. With example, the definitions of ions, cations, anions, electrodes, cathode and anode, and their difference. Electronic concept of oxidation and reduction. Definition with example. So let's study with the topic electrolysis. The process in which the decomposition of a chemical compound takes place on passing electric current through the compound is called electrolysis. Electrolytes, the substances which allow electricity to pass through them either in their molten state or in their aqueous solution form and undergo chemical decomposition are called electrolytes. For example, acids, bases, and salt solutions are electrolytes. Strong electrolytes. The electrolytes which dissociate completely into ions in an aqueous solution are called strong electrolytes. For example, ionic salt like NaCl, KCl in their solution form or molten form, strong acids and bases like HCl and NaH etc. All mineral acids are strong electrolytes except carbonic acid. Only NaOH and KOH are strong electrolyte in bases. Weak electrolytes. The electrolytes which do not dissociate completely into ions in aqueous solutions are called weak electrolytes. For example, weak acids and bases like acetic acid and ammonium hydroxide, etc. All organic acids and all bases except NaOH and KOH are weak electrolytes. Difference between metallic conductor and electrolytic conductors or electrolytes. In metallic conductor, the flow of current is due to flow of electrons, whereas in electrolytes or electrolytic conductors, the flow of current is due to movement of ions. In metallic conductors, electrons move from negative pole to positive pole, whereas in electrolytes, positive ion moves towards negative pole, while negative ions move towards positive poles. In metallic conductors, Metal conduct electricity in solid state except mercury which is a liquid and conduct electricity in liquid form. All other metals conduct electricity in their solid state only. Whereas electrolytes conduct electricity in molten state or in their aqueous solution form. In metallic conductors, no chemical change occurs in the metal. Whereas in electrolytes, chemical change take place. Now, different between strong and weak electrolytes. Strong electrolytes allow large amount of electricity to pass through them, whereas weak electrolytes allow only small amount of electric current to pass through them. Strong electrolytes are good conductor of electricity, whereas weak electrolytes are poor conductor of electricity. Strong electrolytes dissociate completely into ion, whereas weak electrolytes dissociate only to a small extent. The solution of strong electrolytes contains only free ions, whereas the solution of weak electrolytes contain ions as well as molecules. So this fourth point is very important. The fifth point, strong acid like HCl, sulfuric acid, basal like NaOH, KOH and ionic salt like NaCl, PBBr2 in their molten state or in their aqueous solution form are strong electrolytes. Whereas weak acid like acetic acid, formic acid, carbonic acid, weak basal like ammonium hydroxide, calcium hydroxides, are weak electrolytes. Note: Distilled water, alcohol, kerosene, carbon disulfide, cane sugar, benzene, glucose, and urea do not conduct electricity and are called non-electrolytes because non-electrolyte means which do not conduct electricity even in their molten form or in their aqueous solution. Strong electrolyte contain only ions. For example, mineral acids, strong bases, and ionic salt in their molten or aqueous forms contain only ions in their solution. Weak electrolyte contains ion as well as molecule because they do not undergo complete dissociation. For example, ammonium hydroxide, sodium acetate, ammonium carbonate, organic acids, etc. Non-conductor contain only molecules. For example, benzene, CCL4, carbon disulfide, glucose, urea, etc. So these are the three important points. Electrolytic cell the cell which is used to convert electrical energy to chemical energy. 
is called electrolytic cell which is used during the electrolysis. Different between anode and cathode. Anode, it is the electrode which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, whereas cathode is the electrode which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Second point, anions, negative charged particles move towards anode, whereas positive charged particles called cations move towards cathode. Third point, oxidation reaction occur at anode, whereas reduction reaction occur at cathode. Ions, atoms or a group of atoms carrying positive or negative charge over them are called ions. Anions, atoms which carry negative charge are called anions, for example, CN negative, OH negative, sulfate ion, etc. Anions move towards anode, that is positive electrode, cations. Atoms which carry positive charge are called cations, for example, H positive ion, Na positive ion, copper 2 positive ion, etc. Cations move towards cathode, that is negative electrodes, and carry positive charge. The charge on an atom tells the number of electrons gained or lost by the atom of that element. Positive charge show loss of electrons equal to the charge on the cation, while negative charge show the gain of electron equal to the charge on the anion. So, Na positive means it lose one electron and CN negative means it gain one electron. Now, electronic concept of oxidation and reduction. The oxidation according to electronic concept is the process in which an atom or ion lose one or more electron. For example, when sodium lose one electron, it become Na positive ion. Here, sodium is losing one electron, so we can say that the oxidation of sodium take place. In another example, S2 negative lose two electron to form sulfur. So here, S2 negative ion losing two electron, and therefore we can say the oxidation of S2 negative take place. During oxidation, positive charge on rectum increases and negative charge on the rectum decreases. Reduction: the process in which atom or ion gain one or more electron is called reduction. For example. Here, chlorine gain one electron to form Cl negative ion. So here, Cl is gaining one electron, and so we can say the reduction of Cl take place. Similarly, in this example, F3 positive ion gain one electron to form F2 positive ion. So here, F3 positive ion is gaining one electron, or we say that reduction of F3 positive ion can take place. During reduction, positive charge on rectum decreases and negative charge on rectum increases. During oxidation, electrons are to be subtracted on the rectum side as, so when we are writing the oxidation reaction alone, then we have to subtract the electron from the reactant. During reduction, electrons are to be added to the rectant side as, so here in this equation, during reduction, we have to add the number of electrons gained towards the rectant side, now oxidizing agent. The substance which gain electrons are called oxidizing agent. For example, in this equation, Fe3 positive ion is gaining one electron, so it will undergo reduction and it act as an oxidizing agent. Reducing agent, the substance which lose electron are called reducing agent. So here in this equation, sodium is losing one electron and undergoing oxidation, and therefore here sodium is acting as a reducing agent. So the conclusion we can draw. That the substance which undergo oxidation act as reducing agent and the substance which undergo reduction act as an oxidizing agent. So let's see one example. So here in this equation, copper 2 positive ion on the rectal side changes to copper on the product side. That means the positive charge decreases, that means it gains two electrons. So we can say that copper 2 positive changes to copper and here positive charge decreases, that means gain of electron take place. So, reduction of Cl2 positive occur and the another reactant zinc changes to Zn2 positive that means the post charge increases that means the loss of electron take place. So, we can say the oxidation of zinc take place. So, here because copper 2 positive is undergoing reduction therefore it is acting as an oxidizing agent and here zinc is undergoing oxidation therefore zinc is acting as a reducing agent. One more example. So, here S2 negative changes to sulfur, therefore we can say negative charge decreases, that means loss of electron take place, oxidation of S2 negative take place, and in another reactant chlorine 
changes to cn negative that mean negative charge increases therefore gain of electron take place and we can say that cl2 undergo reduction and because s2 negative undergo oxidation therefore it act as a reducing agent and chlorine undergo reduction therefore it acting as a oxidizing agent redox reaction the reaction in which both oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously are known as redox reaction during oxidation loss of electron the positive charge increases while the negative charge decreases solid oxidizing agent so magnesium dioxide red lead lead dioxide kmno4 k2cr2o7 etc are the example of solid oxidizing agent liquid oxidizing agent hydrogen peroxide concentrated nitric acid concentrated sulfuric acid and and bromine are liquid oxidizing agent gases oxidizing agent oxygen ozone chlorine sulfur dioxide are the example of gases oxidizing agent now solid reducing agent carbon zinc aluminum copper sodium glucose etc are the example of solid reducing agent hydrogen peroxide hydrogen iodide hydrogen bromide etc are the example of liquid reducing agent and hydrogen sulfide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide and ammonia are the example of gases reducing agent hydrogen peroxide is a liquid which is act as a oxidizing agent as well as reducing agent similarly here sulfur dioxide is acting as a gases oxidizing agent as well as gases reducing agent so sulfur dioxide is a gas which act as a reducing agent as well as oxidizing agent different between oxidation and reduction in oxidation addition of oxygen take place in reduction the removal of oxygen take place in oxidation removal of hydrogen take place on in reduction addition of hydrogen take place during oxidation loss of electron take place and during reduction gain of electron take place during oxidation loss of electron take place and the positive charge increases and negative charge decreases and during reduction gain of electron take place and the positive charge decreases and negative charge increases so the point is that if we learn the definition of oxidation and oxidizing agent then the definition of reduction and reducing agent are opposite different between ionization and dissociation that is also important point ionization when a compound which do not contain ion but form ion in water it is called ionization for example hcl do not contain ions but when hcl gas is dissolved in water it form ions so we can say then when hcl gas is dissolved in water its ionization take place because new ions are formed but in dissociation when a compound which already contain ions and give ion in water that means that ions get separated in water this is called dissociation for example an ionic solid like nacl already contain ion and on dissolving in water the ions get separated so we can say that dissociation of nacl take place second point polar covalent compound undergo ionization that means they do not contain ion but on dissolving water they can give ion so we can say the ionization take place but ionic compound which already contain ions always undergo dissociation the example with soft substance which undergo ionization are hcl ammonium hydroxide they get ionized in water the example of substance which undergo dissociation are nacl and kcl which are ionic compound and undergo dissociation on dissolving in water learn and note that all the definitions studied in this video and do written practice for the reaction of oxidation and reduction in next video electrolysis part 2 we will study activity series preference of migration of ions towards electrodes electrolysis of molten lead bromide water copper sulfate solution and chemical equations and observations please like and subscribe the channel for the latest update thank you